Assalamu alaikum students I warmly welcome to all of you in today's video lesson Today we are going to talk about geographical terms What does it mean by geographical terms dear students Geographical terms can be defined as the alternative names of the physical feature is called geographical term so there are important geographical terms number 1 mountains hills plateaus plains deserts lakes rivers estuary and delta respectively dear students and this is a bit lengthy uh, topic so that we will divide this topic into two parts in first part we will discuss first four uh, geographical terms and in second part we will uh, discuss rest of the geographical terms dear students here we have a first two geographical terms uh, mountains and hills mountains are the highest lands they are above 2000 uh, to 3000 meters height dear students there are two types of mountain uh, first is young mountains and second is old mountains we can discriminate between a young and old mountains uh, with a very simple and very distinctive uh, feature that is uh, at their peaks young mountains have a very steep peaks a uh, very steep tops and our old mountains have rounded tops hills are the high lands but not like mountains hills are characterized as a natural bump in the landscape with vegetation here we have a comparison between hill and mountain on your left side you can see the features uh, the properties of hills on the right side you can see the properties of mountain the students properties of hill are a natural mound of earth created either by faulting or erosion the students faulting or erosion are the natural processes faulting is directly associated with the motion of uh, plate tectonics and erosion is uh, associated with the degradation of any physical feature with the external forces or natural forces like uh, force of water force of wind or other external forces number second is bump uh, in the landscape lower altitude and uh, elevation with a rounded top often are named on the right side we have a mountains features of mountains properties of mountains uh, which are number 1 a natural mound of earth created by faulting as we know that the faulting is a process of uh, process of uh, mountain building because it is directly associated with the a movement of uh, plate tectonics a steep rise in the landscape high altitude and uh, elevation with a defined summit or peak often named it means uh, mountains have name uh, for example in pakistan there are uh, very famous mountain ranges uh, like hindu kush uh himalayas and karakoram in western pakistan we have a, a sulaiman range 
dear students here we have a uh, comparative points or comparative features of uh, platters and the plane uh, which will uh, help us to understand the basic difference between plateau and the planes so here we have a uh, first point plateau is a mountainous area with a flat top uh, on other hand plain uh, areas are only the flat areas number second is plateau is raised abruptly from the surrounding areas on other hand slope of uh, plains uh, is a gradual not abrupt number third is climate at the top of plateau may be uh, maybe maybe not suitable or uh, supportive for agriculture but on the other hand the uh, climate uh, of uh, plain area are suitable uh, for agriculture also there's uh, soil uh, is a, uh, also their soil is supportive for agriculture because the soil of the plain area is a fertile plateau is called uh, different uh, names uh, plateau is called by different names like uh, high plains uh, tabletops flat top mountains etc on the other hand plains are just called lowland dear students here we have 2d and 3d representation of uh, plateau and plane in first diagram we have a 2d representation of uh, uh, plane area and plateau here we can clearly see that there is a sea level from sea level we can clearly see the plane area is elevated gradually and then we have a abrupt elevation that is called mountainous area and in mountainous area we have a plain area between two mountains that is called plateau in second diagram we have a 3d representation of uh, plateau and plain features here we have a plateau which is a abrupt elevated area but on the other hand we have a plain area which is gradual uh, elevated area thank you very much dear students for your attention if you have any problem or question regarding this lesson you can ask me without any hesitation and remember one thing dear students that uh, more you ask more you learn Take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.